Welcome to Weld.com. Appreciate your support over the years, your comments and your feedback. We've been having multiple requests for the Monster Coupon, and I believe Man Cub had asked me a while back to teach him how to do a little back feed, which is what I like to do on Monster Coupons. Um, I want to tack this up. We're going to use the AHP, the new Alpha TIG 201 XD. Run the root pass on this. I'll run one side and I'll teach him this back feed method. I think he likes the lay wire. I'm going to try to get him off of that so we can do a little back feed, get some reinforcement in here. Let's get some gear on. We'll go right to it. Okay, I'm going to get ready to tack up. I'm probably going to do this a little different than most guys do it, most people do it. I'm going to put three tacks in here. The first one's going to be at 12 o'clock. It's just going to get like a fit tack. It'll be less than a quarter of an inch long. The other two tacks I want to put in here at two o'clock and 10 o'clock. And I, the reason I like to do that is because they're up above center. It leaves the entire bottom open I can rest my wire against one of the tacks when I'm coming off the bottom, feed it from the inside. Also, I can tie into those most of the time without ground, grinding them out and feathering them. I can just keep right on going, consume it, keep right on going, come up to the top. I'm going to give it a go that way. Personally, I like to rest my wire against my tack, put my thumb against the bottom of the coupon over here, Hit the foot pedal inadvertently. Walk this in here off the bottom. Get some reinforcement until I get up at such a point where I can wiggle the cup the rest of the way. come up on the tack. I heat the whole thing up, add some wire, when the, and I just consume that. When the leading edge dips a little bit, I just keep right on going. And we have a root pass. Man Cub, you want to do a little back feed here on Monster Coupon? Yeah. Okay. Man Cub wants to learn a little uh, back feed technique here instead of this lay wire he's used to. So we're going to take him out of his element and do the other side. We've got 530 second gap maintained by those tacks that we put in earlier. Um, come off this bottom side, get it wet, put your rod on the leading edge start building that profile and you're good to go. All right. When you come up to this tack, when you're just short of it, use your arc to heat that tack up, back up, dab some wire and come on through it. All right. right when the leading edge of that tack heats up and sags, you just you add wire and keep right on going. And that way you're, you're not grinding tacks, you're using the arc to blend and keep right on going. Your profile should be consistent all the way up. Wow, I like that. Not using a grinder. Heck yeah. It's just another method, man. That's the way I've been. I've had good success with it, and I don't grind a lot. 
I'm fat and old and lazy and I don't like to grind. Don't. Neither. Start well. Don't comment on that. Carry on. All right. So I start about a quarter inch back or three sixteenths back about from the about front. Three sixteenths back on that leading edge. Just get it good and wet first, and then put the wire on the leading edge. You'll see it. The wire on the leading edge. Heat it up. There you go. You can take off. You're gonna blend in. Relax. I gotta readjust. Okay. You need to readjust, readjust. Alright. Except you came out of that awfully quick. All right. Now you got that piping porosity, so make sure you back up. Actually, we should grind that, but back up, consume that, and right. now keep going. All right. There you go. Okay. Gotta keep the wire in the leading edge of the tool. Coming up on the tack, keep the whole thing up, add wire. Kind of the same way I start out on the root, I will take, uh, I'll take and put my thumb against this lightly just to come off the bottom until I can rest the cup up here and then I'll walk it and wash it the rest of the way. I want to spend time on the edges. I want to spend time in the bevel phase, more time up here. Wire is going to follow the arc, but I don't want to reshape this root. All right. I don't want to heat it up to the point where I'm sucking it back out. Right. So, what's the point you spin up on top so you have a good tie-in or something? Wire is going to follow the arc. All right. Well, okay. Wire if follow. I spend more time up here and I come down, then the profile is going to lay in there correctly. Okay. If I spend more time on the bottom and adding wire, then my profile is going to be more to the bottom. I want this right. to lay in there flat. Right. Okay. I'm pre-planning my weld. Yeah, I can see you're doing a little slight pause on your top. And I'm not trying to fill this up. I'm just trying to throw some beef in here. Gotcha. So that when we go to the fill passes, yeah, we're not taking the chance of blowing anything up. Gotcha. We'll come out of this slow, crawl up on the wall, pop out of it so that I don't leave piping porosity on the leading edge. All right. Okay. Yeah, well, it's not perfect perfect I mean that but you know again I'm pretty sure we've got a few passes to put in here <laughs> yeah I'm wanting to fill this a little bit get enough beef in there I didn't I'm sure we can check that didn't look like I was hot enough to rearrange the root spend two-thirds of your time up here on the top let it wash down here make sure it's how your welds blended into the bevels and keep right on going sweet I changed it over to a number 10 cup so you'd have a little more room to, to wick and, I mean, you can freehand it in there too, so whatever's comfortable for you. I'm going to probably do the wiggle since the... You can walk it off the bottom. 
Heat it up. Keep the wire up on top. There you go. Uh, this concludes our root pass and fill pass, or hot pass, whatever you want to call it, on our monster coupon run. So again, we put, we, we did a little bit different technique. We put tacks at 12 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock. We kind of back fed coming off the bottom, kept the profile going. We didn't even grind the tacks because we used the arc and technique to wash through this. Came up here at the top, closed it up, came back and put our fill pass in with a little technique of keeping the wire more to the toe of the top side. Learn anything? Yeah, a lot. Okay. A little technique. You know, you can create your own you can create your own suck back if you pull the wire too soon. You can create too much up here of a cold wire. And it's uh, it's not much of a subtle technique change. You go through it and get comfortable with it. Forget the foot pedal, just dry run them all the time, set your amperage at 120, whatever you like. All right. Going. So I hope you found this educational. Please subscribe to our channel. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Give Man Cub a big shout out to you there. Oh, thank you, Bob. Thanks for watching well.com.